I know. But do I deserve? I know. But do I know that I deserve? I feel like it's good to tell people that we know as well what they are, how they are, what we see. Because then it makes them feel like they deserve it. When we ourselves think something, it's just a thought. But when you hear it, when you receive it, it feels deserving. You could tell a person that they're strong. You could tell a person that they're amazing, that they're great. And that person can know that already. But they might not feel like they deserve it. Why? Could be a number of reasons. They haven't been told enough. They haven't been showed enough. Or if at all. They've been through things. They've done things. For me, that's what it was for a long time. The things that I've done to people. I'll say specifically like to women. I feel like. For the longest time, I didn't deserve to be loved or cared for or nurtured or whatever the case may be. Sometimes mistakes that you make in your life make you feel less deserving of. You know? Might not be the present that makes you feel less deserving. It could be something from your past probably one of the tougher ones to deal with. You can't change the past. You got to learn how to move forward. You got to learn how to grow from it. You got to let those mistakes, those past tribulations, as you call them, you know, you got to learn from it. I watched a sermon today by Darius, David, uh, Darius Daniels, sorry. And he spoke of people in storms. They call them storms. He said they need to call it school because God wants you to learn something in that storm. But people call it storms, betrayals, problems, or just whatever it is they want to call them. And when people call them storms, they're just trying to get out of it. Before seeing what God wants you to see in that storm, so you don't go through that same mistake again. Man, he spoke on it. Ah, man, spoke on it. I'm telling you. It's like in life, too, you know, with us, you know, sometimes we get stuck, and the only thing we're trying to do is get out of it. Like he said when he was preaching, I'm trying to see something. Are you trying to get out of the storm just to get out? Or are you trying to see something? That hit, man. I've been through a lot of storms, a lot of schooling <laughs> in life. We all have. <laughs> Nobody can say they haven't. <laughs> deserving everyone's deserving of something you gotta figure out what it is you gotta know your worth and the only way
way to figure that out is in that storm, in that schooling. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know if I'm gonna upload this video because this is, <laughs> but it was a word. Sometimes it's good to let people know what you see in them. Sometimes people need to hear it. It can go a long way. I'd like to encourage everybody out there who watches this video. Just tell somebody close to you or just tell somebody that you notice them, that you see them, that you acknowledge them, that you love them. Tell them you see their accomplishments at the, you know, Tell them you see they tries. I didn't say trials. We know that they're there. But you see their tries through that trial. Let them know. People need to hear that. Sometimes people get stuck in their storm, stuck in their school, and stuck in their trials. They don't have nobody telling them. I see you. Some people might say, I don't need people to tell me anything. But you do. It helps. Whether you need it or not, it helps. It sends a boost. It sends support. It shows that a person is deserving of if they receive it from somebody else. You understand what I just said? If they receive it, they receive that love, the thoughts, the congrats from someone else, then it makes people feel deserving of. Instead of less deserving. I feel like in the world today, we got to start acknowledging people more. I need to acknowledge people more. I do. I've been told a few times, you know, in my past, you don't never see the good I do. You always critiquing me. You always telling me to do this better. You're always telling me to, you know, whatever. You're always on me. Yeah, I, I, I do that sometimes. Sometimes I get overboard with it because I want to see you succeed. I want to see people succeed. My trials and my storms, I try to keep people from going through them. And sometimes I come across as pushy when I do it, though. <laughs> I could be loving when I do it, but if it's repeat, I keep going anyways. But, but that's the point. Got to acknowledge people. Which also goes to you never know how long someone's going to be here. So acknowledge them. Show them they're deserving of that thought that they have, that feeling that they have in themselves. Show them that they're deserving of that. Help them understand it. I know I'm one of these people and I know some other people are that because I've, I've received it before. You know, you tell people, like I said earlier, how wonderful they are, how great they are, how beautiful they are, how tough they are, how strong they are, how whatever it is they are. And you get some people be like, I know. <laughs> I'm one of those people, but I will say thank you. I, I will say thank you and stuff like that. But I am one of those people, you know. But I will say, I know you know. But you might not feel like you deserve it. And there is a difference. People need to start feeling like they deserve the things that they want, that they know they should have, that they know they should get. It's just a thought. It's my opinion. Consider this a part one on this. 
Because like I said, I, I might not even upload this. I might, I don't know. Um, but consider this a part one. There's a lot to be said on this. I know. But do I know that I deserve it? I'll probably talk on this a few times. <laughs> So this wonderful Sunday, I decided to make a roast. I was supposed to cook it last night, but I started it when I got up today. So I'm good. <laughs> um, I hope everyone has a blessed Sunday. Um, my Sunday has started off pretty good. Um, minus the snow that started out here. But I'm thankful for it too, so it's cool. <laughs> It's quiet because all the kids are at church. Yes, I have my sh I have my church on TV with, with, like I said, Darius Daniels. But yeah, um, acknowledge someone, make someone's day, so they say. <laughs> it's never <laughs> wrong to make someone's day. You don't have to expect anything back from it. Just message somebody. Say, hey, you're doing a good job. Hey, I'm proud of you. It goes a long way. But uh, like I said, I'm not going to keep y'all long on this video. This video is actually going to be a rough draft, but I I'm done with it. I I it's okay. I think I like it. Anyway, um, appreciate y'all for tuning in. For those of y'all who did tune in, I love you guys. I hope you guys have a blessed and wonderful Sunday and y'all remember to put God first in everything that you do whether you fail whether you succeed put God first keep him with you no matter what always know tides can change okay if you let him he will direct thy path okay so I'm going to hop up off of here. I'll see y'all later. Hope y'all enjoyed part one. Peace.